new year, new mayor. Yesterday, John Whitmire was officially sworn in as the city of Houston's new mayor. Well, today, the city is hosting his inauguration ceremony at the Wortham Theater. And that's where we find CW39 Houston's Kara Willis. She is live from outside. Well, actually, she's moved inside the theater with a preview of what we can expect from this morning's inauguration day. Kara, good morning to you. Happy New Year. It's going to start pretty soon. How's it feeling in there? Oh my gosh, Maggie, the energy is so high here in the room. And you just mentioned, yes, I was outside earlier today outside of the Wortham Theater, but I've now transitioned inside and you can see there's so much hustle and bustle behind me right now. There's so much networking, so many people in the room getting ready for this exciting event for Houston. Now, as mentioned, Houston is in for a treat. We now have a new mayor, Mr. John Whitmire. He is the 63rd mayor of the fourth largest city in the United States. And that event will take place at 9 30 this morning. So I'll tell you what's on tap for the rest of the day. After today's event, after he's officially sworn in for the public to see, he will then go to City Hall to have his first official City Council meeting, and then he'll be able to greet Houstonians outside of City Hall to hear them express their concerns about um, what they're concerned about here in our city and, of course, how our new mayor plans to fix them. Later tonight, he'll be having a first responders appreciation event, and there'll be live music and food trucks you name it overall a very good time also our new mayor mentioned that he wants to tackle several issues um, now that he's in this position he wants to keep that relationship close with um, fire and the police departments here to make our city safer improve city services such as homelessness garbage pickup and more and of course make sure that we are all prepared for the worst in the event we ever have any drainage issues or a big storm we'll hear more on that for inauguration day but overall going to be an exciting time here today, Maggie. And Kara, what are some of the reactions you've gotten so far about today's inauguration? I know you've been out there all morning. Maggie, I'm so glad you asked. I had a chance to talk to several people here in the room about what they're feeling now that we've had a new mayor. You know, we've had um, Mayor Sylvester Turner um, for so long now is what it feels like, but now having a new mayor, they've said that it's refreshing to get someone new and to um, get some new policies in order and get um, some new change here for the city that, um, from what most tell me, has been needed for quite some time. And I always love these events because the people watching, you know, I've already seen some people walk behind you. Are there going to be any special guests in attendance? Well, Maggie, as I mentioned before, Mr. Whitmire, Mayor Whitmire rather, says that um, he wants to keep that relationship close with our police and fire department, so they will definitely be here in attendance. I had a chance to um, shake hands with a few here today, but also there's going to be some live music in store, so we're going to have some entertainment during the ceremony that I'm sure everyone will see as a treat as well. Well, Kara, thank you so much for being our eyes and ears, and we look forward to more of your report. Of course, you can find more over on our website throughout the day, CW39.com.